Hello, Michael. Hello, how are you? I'm great. How are you too? Oh, I'm great. Better than you. You can see the back of you. You can see our talking brands. Exactly. Yeah, they're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Michael, we are ready for today. Excellent. My students should be here shortly. Very good. Very good. So let, let's take you briefly to what we want to do today. Perfect. Good. So, um, so Michael, we have two of our students who are going to lead us in the presentation today. We have oh, Marilyn. Yes, Marilyn is there. Marilyn, raise up your hand. That is Marilyn. And then we have Marilyn. Dura. Marilyn and Dura. So we have Marilyn and Daryl. Yes. Okay, so uh, what we want to do briefly is on mischief. Mischief. Mischief? Are you uh, yes, but I, I didn't catch that word. All right, Michael. Yes. Can you have now? Yes, I'm here. Oh, but my, my students aren't here yet. We need to wait a couple minutes. Oh, oh Chris, I, I want to ask. <clears throat> At the moment, I have the waiting room enabled on Zoom, so we can see when my students get here. But if we want, we can wait to let them in once there's a couple of them. Do we want to let them in just when they arrive, or wait till there's uh, a couple of them? All right. So, so maybe in ten minutes' time, you should be able to make the connections tight. Perfect. So, ten minutes. Uh, Thank 
Hello, Michael. Oh, yes. I can hear you again now. Great. Michael? Yes. We are having a little bit. Michael? Yes. You're looking good. To do. The speaker is giving us a feedback. Mm. So we have disconnected from the speaker and we'll be relying heavily on the speakers from the computers. Okay, okay. So I've asked them to keep quiet as much as they can so they can hear the presenters. Very good. So as I've already, as I've already indicated, we have about uh, four teachers here present, including myself, and we have two presenters. They are all females. Uh, uh -huh. Francis is here, Samuel is here, uh, Wilson is here, uh, Daniel is here, and then Miriam is here. They are the teachers. And we have classes five, four, and three also here. Oh, excellent, excellent. Good. All right, students, we are about to start. Marilyn and Gerald, are you ready? Yeah. So you have to speak very loud for everybody to hear. Exactly. Can we start then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when, when you guys are ready, any time is good for us. Beautiful. All right. Um, Marilyn and uh, Gerard, we are in your hands. Exactly. Let's give them a big clap. No. Miriam, I think you should yeah, you should briefly talk about what you're having to say. 
Okay, very good. Okay. We are talking about mixtures. So I'll ask the kids, what's the meaning of mixtures so that they can explain? So please, what is mixture? Okay. Okay. We have types of mixtures. What are some of the types that we have? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Please. Uh, you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have solid and solvent. So what is solvent? Okay, and what is solids? Similar. Okay, so now we are going to make soap. And this is not a mixture because we have solid and solid and then liquid, liquid. And when we are stirring, we incorporate glass. So and solvent. So please, this is uh, uh, our ingredients. We have salt, which is 95 grams. We have our booster cup. It is 19.49 grams. But this one, it looks like rice. So we added water. So that by the time we need to use it, it will dissolve so that we will not have a lumpy uh, mixture. I, 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 I didn't hear what that one was. Okay, it's a booster or former. Oh, that's the booster. Okay, okay. Yes. And the salt is also served as preservative. And all these dishes we are going to make, it is a loose mixture. So the salt hardens the mixture. Then the booster is also a format. So that makes uh, the fluid. It optimizes cleaning actions of detergents. That is the booster. So it makes it more larger and firmer. So we have our base, which is known as sodium sulfate. And this is to use to make a good foam. We have our preservative, which preserves the mixture so that it can last longer. We have our perfume, which is 3.3 mil. Which, which one is that one? This one. Uh, yes, yes, that one. The measurement, okay. We have the base is 117.7 mil. The salt is 95 grams. The rice or the chapusa is 11.4 grams. Our sulfuric acid is 9.4. 4.9 mil. And this binds all the ingredients or the materials we use for the mixture together. The sulfuric acid, when the weather climate is very, very cold, 
It is good to use. But when it is very hot, when you use it, it, it makes the meat sour to you. Then we have the other thickener. It is a thickening agent which thickens and thickens the viscosity of the fluid. And this one is 13.3 grams. And, and what, what material is it that's the thickener? Like, is it something like cornstarch or something different? Powdered foam. Powdered foam? It is a, a... So it is in a powdered form. Ah. Yes. And but, the... but like if I if I if I wanna do it with students in Paris, what like what kind of powder do I do I look for? Can you say that again? Just to, to look for that same material, to, to repeat this experiment in France. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. what, 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 what material is the thickener? Like, what, what would I look for at the store? We can't get you clear on that side. Oh, the, the, the thickener, the, the material that's in powder form. Uh-huh. What, what, what kind of material is it? Like, what's the... Uh, what's the name of the thickener if I try and buy it uh, at a store or like in the lab? What, what? Okay, so, so I think locally, Michael, if you get to the store, the soap makers, they say you are looking for a thickener, it is there for you to purchase. Over there in Ghana, what name is given to it is just thickener. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have another name. No, so it's just a thickening agent. Is, is it in used, a powder form? Is it used for food? Like, is it for thickening food and sauces? Yes. Okay. I, I think I know what we use in France for that. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like here. Okay. Then we have our color. So, so it's, it's probably cornstarch. And like, this is what we use as a thickener here. Okay. I read the whole letter. Uh, no, we we'll go to the process. Yes, now we the process. Right? I have the earpiece. Can you connect it to your other hand? No, you can. It's only something. Okay, Michael, do you have any question? Oh, well, so I like I was asking about the materials. I was saying this is the. Oh, like, what okay. I saw in the thickener. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So Michael has gotten the thickener we have there, which is why he's showing to us. Can we all see it? Yes. I'll show it again if you want. Yes. yes, yes, please show it again. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And, and, and an, another question for the, the booster. Is yeah. that rice? Did you say it's rice? It is in a form of rice. Okay, but it's it's not rice like it what is you not would rice. Eat. No, 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 no. Let, let, show it to him. Let him see it again. Get closer to the camera. Let him see it. And to understand what material it is, is is it a booster that would be sold where you buy like laundry detergent to wash clothes and you yes. use it in yes. an area where the 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 soap would have a hard time washing As, out? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I we yes. we have products like that. They're um, called water softeners here. So that like oh. that's what they're. Well, I don't offhand remember what they call them in French because I, if I needed to buy one, I'd know where to look. Uh, okay. Alex, do you know what water softeners are called in French? Um. No. no I I have no idea. Like I, I could explain what I need in yeah. French if I was like it from Prix or like Carrefour and I like I, I could get it. Yeah. But I have no recollection what they're they're called. M maybe just like a translation of the term like adoucisseur de l'eau or uh, anti calcaire. Yeah, it's pastille anti calcaire. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So um are you going to continue or do you 
Can all these people be sure they are the floor? Are we going to measure the salt? So what is the measurement? The, the measurement is 95 grams of salt. Very good. You said before. Okay. Yeah, I was listening. <laughs> yes. There's one thing about it. The rule is that they are staring. You should stare to one direction. If it is your right, it should be to your right. If you change your direction, it will stop. If you are, if you are staring it to your left, you should be to your left so you finish. If you change your direction, it will stop. So always the same direction. Yes, only one direction, either the left or right. So now we are going to get the salt and the base together. And, and so now, now there's the salt and the booster and the base. But have you added the thickener or the sulfuric acid yet? Listen very carefully. Michael, can you take over the question again? Yes, I, I was asking, have you added everything or was it just some of the things you've added so far? Yes, so the first, what is the first thing we put in? The base. The base, yes. So put the base in first. Then you add salt. Then you stir. And you begin to stir in one direction. So after you are stirring, you are adding water bit by bit. So you see them staring in one direction and adding little amount of water bit by bit. So, so now it's just the salt and the base. Very carefully, yes. That is just the salt and the base. Yes. 
And so that's the booster, and you already dissolved the rice in water, so it wouldn't make clumps, right? Really? They are asking a question. So listen very carefully. Marka, can you repeat? Uh, I, I was just checking, because you said that's the booster, and it's the rice. But when yes. the booster's in rice, you mixed it with water first, so it was a liquid. Exactly, water, right? exactly, exactly, yes. So it got dissolved. And, and just before the booster, you added the... Uh, thickener, right? Yes. Yes. I need to make sure my students get it right. So if I miss any steps, they'll get it all wrong. All right. If, if they're like me, they'll change direction in the middle, just to test that it doesn't work. <laughs> they'll go to campus. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be confused. <laughs> So, uh, Marilyn, can you repeat that again? What are we adding? Michael, did you hear that? No, it's it's hard to hear with the microphone from them. Can, uh, can they repeat it again? So we are adding the preservative. Ah, the preservative. Yeah. And I think I forgot to ask, what is the preservative? Listen, like, that's a question. Listen. Well, Michael, the question what, now. What is the preservative made of? Or where, where do you find it? Like, where do you buy it? Very good. So, uh, Miriam. This preservative we are adding. What can, what can we get it? What is it? What is it called? If he wants to get some infants, what will he say? Okay. Okay, so Maya, you can use formalin. Formalin? Do you know formalin? Well. I'm trying to remember if that's another name for formaldehyde. It like is it toxic and cancerogenic? I, I, I'm sure what you're saying it is, but what we are using here is not formalin. What they are using here as preservative is not formalin. I don't know what they. So what are you using now? Okay. So can I see, can I show it to you? Okay. I, I will have some of the yeah. Michael. Yes. I, I don't think uh, formalin is appropriate here. What, what, what she bought from the stores is just a preservative in a powdered form. Now, this chemical she brought in is not a formalin. 
she only went and asked for a preservative and she's been giving uh, uh, the, the powdered form of it. When I, I look at it, it's not a formalin. You cannot have a look at it. And, and is, is it a preservative you'd use to preserve food? Say that again. Is, is it to preserve food that you'd eat or to preserve other things? Like formalin would be used to preserve um, like dead animals for laboratory preparation and that kind of thing. Is this that kind of preservative for like preserving things that we won't eat? Or is it uh, to preserve food and it's edible? I think food. Okay, so then it's like it's safe uh, around kids. Yeah. It's used for food as well. Yeah. Wait. Wait, take your time. So, have you stand well in one direction? Okay, so what are we adding again? The adding is the sulfuric acid. What quantity are we adding? We are adding 4.5 ml. What are you using to do? Are you using the macro puppet? You just pour it inside. Okay. So, Michael, we are at another stage. So, so now they're adding the sulfuric acid bit by bit with the micro yes. very, very good, very good. So we are, we are dropping in the sulfuric acid. So we use water to raise the container. So, Michael, some of the colors are green and some are yellow. So, what we see at the result of the experiment is one yellow and one green. Oh, okay. Like one, one, one group is and making green salt and another like and yellow. Continue exactly. In the same direction. Okay, very good. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's, 
Are you free, Michael? Pardon? Go, come again, Chris. Hello, Michael. Yes, hello. Uh -huh. So what, what I'm saying is this, that we are going to have two different colors at the end of the experiment. Beautiful. One will be green and one will be yellow. And what, what color would it be if you didn't add any coloring to the song? Say that again. If, if you didn't add color, like, cause for the, for the yellow, you added yellow color and for the green, you added green color. Yes. Well, would it be clear? Green, exactly. Or, okay, so it'd be clear if you added no color. Yes, I, I, I would just bring a, a, a sample of already made uh, green liquid soap and then yellow liquid soap for you to see. So that when we Very finish good. it, we'll compare that, yes. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll grab the soap that they gave me two weeks ago so we can compare to that as well. So we have the, the yellow one here, and this is the green one. Can you see that? The colors are really nice. Michael? Uh, he went to grab the other soap that you gave him, I think. He'll be right back. Was it the same as this color? Yeah, it looks similar. So it, it survived the flight back to France. Do the, do the students see this one? <laughs> he was showing me the green and the yellow earlier, and it looked it looked pretty similar the yellow one. Okay, which makes sense because it uh, was the same students who made this one. Yeah. And if 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 you have any uh, questions for them, or if there are any parts that you couldn't understand, like with the microphone or the accent. Uh, please ask and they'll be happy to answer or I could help explain if it's something I heard well or did I like that I understood. Yeah, definitely. I was just yeah, I was wondering about the ingredients. So they added the base, right? And the salt. Uh, yes. Then a bit of water, right? And then what came right after that? Uh, the, the thickener, which if I oh. understood correctly was cornstarch like Mycena was what yeah. we in France. Okay, thanks. I got pretty much all of the rest. Okay, perfect. Do you, do you think you'd want to try this soap okay. recipe and made to like to make your own soap? Honestly, yeah, definitely. Sounds like a fun activity. Honestly, like plus if I ever run out of soap, I'll know how to make some. <laughs> as as long as you have all the other ingredients together. Yeah. And I I I think because it. It could be, well, I mean, most of the stuff should be fairly easy to get, but like some of it you might not have around home. Yeah. It, it might make sense if I invite students to a yes meeting where we have the materials together. And we all make it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh,
So, so now it looks like they were adding a lot of water. Uh, how do you know when it's enough and not too much? I think he's been having trouble hearing what we're saying because oh, okay. he's, I mean, I'm not sure, but. So Chris, Francis, Miriam, can, can any of you hear us? Michael? Yes, we can hear you now. Very good. Very good. So we are at the stage where the liquid soap can easily be seen. Can you see them? Yeah, yeah, we can see them. Yeah. Can you see the mischiefs? Yeah, so they're lifting it up and we can see the texture of it. It's starting to look thicker and like more like a liquid soap now. Very good. Very good. So that's so. Have we added the perfume? Yes. You have added the perfume. So the okay. thickness is going to the more you add it, like if it's brown, it's going to the brown. So the water is added according to the desired Okay, so. And then there's foam on it. Okay, so. You need to wait for that to the management. Can we bring one for the whole one? Yeah, the one that we have. Okay. Okay, so Michael, I can't go to bend it. Bend it, bend it for people. Okay, so Michael, can we see the foam now? Uh, yeah, it's getting foamy, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. It's getting foamy. And they have added the perfume already. And when they continue this to a point, the thickness will cease. Huh? Okay, so to your request satisfaction, if you want the thickness to be more, then you stop. But if you want it to be a little lighter, then you add water and continue to stir. You continue to stir. The more you add water, the more you continue to stir and the more up you have. But if you want it to be lighter, that is, if you want it to be thicker, then at this point, it is okay. Is that correct? It is okay. You only have to leave it to settle. Then when it settles, the foam will come down. You know, when you're drinking beer, you remember uh, Keta, when you're drinking beer, the beer will, fo will foam at the top, and by time it will settle. So we we assume that it is settled now. We'll leave it behind for some few hours, and then the foam will settle. Once the foam is settled, then we have our liquid soap done. Excellent. That that's very good. And so, so with all with all the soap, because the year fives were making soap to prepare for the project, and I like I saw them make soap uh, when I was there. Well, I saw the video of them making soap, and now they've made more soap. Mm -hmm. Will will yes. they use all this soap at the school, or do they get to take them home, or like how? What, what happens to the soap now? Their parents are interested to see what they have done. 
So when we finish, we are going to put them into bottles. They write their names on it, and they send it home to be washing their hands with as a measure to control the COVID-19 disease. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Very good. Oh, that's so actually, um, Miriam, so how many hours must we leave you to settle? Okay, so to, to, to get prepared uh, liquid soap, when we finish now, we need to leave it overnight for the foam to settle. So we, you, and you once just the leave foam it. has settled, exactly, we have to leave it overnight for the soap to settle. And do you leave it in the bowl or do you put it in a bottle before? No, we leave it in the bowl. We have to leave it in the bowl. Then when, then when it is settled, then we transfer it. So look at this one. This is what we prepared. Do you prepare today? Okay, so we they prepared this one this morning, and you see it is more or less settled. So if you want to do packaging, they only transfer it into the bottle. They only have to transfer it into the bottle, and then it is ready for uh, use. And so this is the green color they use. See that? Yeah. And this is the yellow color. And this is the green color. Excellent. And you, you could do any Did color. You see that, you... Alice? So like if, if my students wanted to do pink soap, they could have pink soap. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, it, it smells very nice. Very much. Do you want to smell some? <laughs> I, I I can smell it, but then Alex will be left out. She doesn't have uh, Dana soap to smell. I'm sure it smells really good. Uh, Michael, Michael, so they have uh, different types of things. What they are having now, the lemon perfume. We have oh, okay, yeah, apple. yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense from when I smell it. Yeah, it smells like lemon. Yes. <laughs> yes, so that is it. So gradually, I think uh, the students are very happy they are done. Are you done? Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Beautiful. All right, so Michael, we will hand over to you now. If you have questions, Alice, if you have questions, you can put it to them and then interact with them for a while and then we'll bring the session to a close. So Michael, I'll hand over the session to you now and then we'll listen to you. Oh, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll ask them a couple of questions to make sure they understood. Uh, Michael is going to ask a question. Exactly, so all of you pay attention here. He's going to ask questions. Please, if the person is asked, just come over to me so he can see you clearly and you answer the question. Exactly. All right, so Michael, we are waiting for the questions. Okay, I'm, I'm curious, did any of the students make their own soap before they did it in class this year? Like, did it? Did anyone do it at home in the past? Whether any of you have ever done the soap in your houses before? Have you done it in your houses before coming to the school? How many of you? One, two, three, four. Okay, so four of them, out of 25, four of them said they have done it in their house before coming to school. Okay. Oh, that's, that's excellent. Is it, is it common in Ghana for people to make their own soap? Uh, there's a vocation in that direction that people who are not having jobs, they get trained in soap making. So if you fall within that family, yes, it is common to do that. But if you don't fall within that family, you cannot do that. Oh, okay, and, and that would be all kinds of soap, right? Yes, that would be all kinds of soap. We have okay. Alaka Samina, we have key soap, we have liquid soap, which is what you have done now. 
And we have, I think, two more. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab more Ghani and Sok to ask the next question. Okay. So the second person is coming. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so we are ready. Okay. Where is Michael? Um, I don't know. I think he went to grab something. I have a question. How old are the students? So the, the next question is from Alice. Have you seen Alice? Yes. He's asking how old are you? Nine to eleven. Nine to eleven. Okay, so between eight and eleven. Alice? Okay, yeah. Between eight and eleven. Okay. That's great. Yes. And, and and I could probably guess, but how old are you, Alex? I'm 14. Okay. So, Alice is yeah. 14 years old. Oh, so she's older than you by two years. Ah, huh? okay, good. Okay, so Michael, questions, Alice, questions? Yeah, yeah so I, I grabbed this soap, which is soap that I had from Ghana. Oh, okay. And, and you, you can see I'm actually I, using it I, as a thing by the sink. Have you seen that soap? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When he was in Ghana, Last man, he got that soap. Now, this is his question. Michael, let's listen to the question. So, do any of the students know how I could make soap like this? Okay, so, do any of you know how you can make soap like that? Because you said you have been doing liquid soap in your house. Four of you. So, do you know how to do the soap? You don't know how to do it. Uh, Madame knows, and Mr. Francis also knows. So uh, Miriam knows how to do it, and then Francis also knows how to do it. But the students, none of them knows how to do it. Okay. So, so you know what you can do when teachers know how to do something, but students don't know how to do it yet, right? Yeah, so the teachers will have to teach them. <laughs> so the teachers will have to teach them. All right, my students, now it is your turn to ask questions. If you have any questions to uh, Michael, if you have any questions to Ali, just put up your hand and ask the first. The first question is coming from uh, uh, Ernesto. Michael, you remember Ernesto? Oh, of course I remember uh, Ernesto. Hey, Tampien, Ernesto, uh, tu puedes uh, uh, preguntar en español si quieres. Very good, very good. That's it. And to your question. Are you going to do Say it again. Are you going to make them? Is he going to make them? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, Michael. The question from Ernesto is this. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So the soap that he and his colleague has taught you now, are you going to produce one for yourself and your students? I'm, I'm planning to, yes. So I'm going to try and get students interested in making soap. And then we'll have a soap making session. And I don't, I don't know if it works well, then It'd be good if we show you guys the soap that we make. So maybe if we make a video on how to make the soap, or if we show you, well, we could show you how to make soap, but you already know how to make soap. <laughs> so I'm working with my students to try and get them to come up with new experiments for them to show you. So you can see new experiments. So Anato, Anato, he's saying that he's going to involve his students. Huh? and lead them in the process of making the soap as you have done. And when he finishes, he'll be very happy to share the videos with you, how you have done it. Is that clear? Very good. And he's also interested in getting more experiments to share with you, apart from making soap. Is that clear? Next question, yes?
Okay. Now, Michael, the, the soap that you will make over there, are you going to sell it? Are we going to sell it? Is that the question? Yes. I don't know. I, I didn't think of that. Um, but if it works well, then we could try and sell it as a fundraiser to try and make money to come back to Ghana again. So a lot of the students will remember when I came with Alice and Mahe and Anna and Johan and Jean uh, and to, to help make money for that, they did a couple of bake sales at the school where they sold uh, food that they made like uh, cookies and cakes and things like that. And maybe they could sell soap to try and make money to help pay to come back to Ghana again. So, my, this is Michael's response to your question. He said he has not thought of it yet, but it will be very good after preparing me if they sell it to make a little money so that they can come back to Ghana again. We find now with all of them to come and see you again. Are you happy? Great, great, great. Well, great, and I, great, I, I, great, I said great. probably not with Anna because she's she's writing her exams this month and she won't be at the school anymore. So oh, okay. maybe once she's left, she'd still want to come back and go to Ghana. But I, I don't know. It's it's often hard to convince students to come back once they've left school. They they get very busy with other projects and stuff. So it might not be the same students, but I hope to have new students come to Ghana. Uh, maybe next year, maybe the year after. It, it it's difficult to organize, so it won't be soon. Don't expect we're coming right away, uh, but I, I do very much hope to bring students to Ghana again. May, maybe we'll convince Alex to come. Honestly, I'd love to come, Beautiful. really. So, excellent. That, that, excellent. That would be great if you do. Excellent. By the way, I was thinking to sell the soap maybe on Spring Fest, if we ever do that again after COVID, we could sell soap. I feel like oh, that would be. That, that's a great idea, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't yes. think of that because I surprisingly I've never actually made it to Spring Fest. I, I keep meaning to, but it, teachers aren't always informed about what weekend it is yeah. unless we ask and things like that. But that that's a great idea of uh, a venue. Because I feel like if parents are there, it might work better. I mean, I don't know, but I think so. Oh, okay. Definitely, yeah. That, okay. like, Generally, the parents at the school, especially the type who go to Spring Fest, which like a lot of them do, they yeah. they tend to be really great. Uh, yeah, the, the, there's some really great parents at the school. Yeah. Okay. So, Michael, one question from uh, Giovanna is, how old are you? Ah, how old am I? I? I think I've asked this every time I've come to visit you. So. I'm the same age as when I asked this question a couple of weeks ago for some of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm 30, yes, 37 years old. Okay, so he's 37 years old. Any other question? Any more questions? Any more questions? And, and, yes. and Chris, I have, I have a question for you. How, how old are you, Chris? So Sarah asked me and I couldn't remember. I am 40. I, you're 40? I am 40 years. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought you were a year or two younger than me, and she said, no, no, he's older than you. And we couldn't agree. Okay, so you're 40. Yes. Now. Okay. Yes, I'm 40. Okay, yes. Last question. Okay. Come, come, come. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So you are asking uh, Alex. You want to ask a question? Huh? Okay, so Alex. Yeah. Uh, this is from uh, Michaela. Okay. Michaela wants to know where you live. Um, I live in Paris. Um, I live in the, yeah, in Paris, near the school where I go to. Um, yeah. Okay. So, you live in Paris? I live in, it's in France. Paris is in France. Just thinking. 
And, More and that, that, are coming. That, that kind of makes sense because she's a student at my school. So all of the students at my school need to be able to get to the school most days. So most, right. most of them live right within Paris, but those who don't, they live nearby in the suburbs. Yes. Uh, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Could you please repeat? Um, did you hear that? I didn't. I, I think she's asking if you're coming to Ghana. Was that the oh. question? Um, it, wait. Chris, was did she asking if Elise was going to come to Ghana? She wants to know the name of the school. Oh, of my school? Yes. Your, your students sing about it. What, what school yes. does he sing about? Yes. I, I call Janine Manuel. Is that oh, correct? I, yes. Exactly. Exactly. Beautiful. So that's it. Do, do, do the students feel like singing the song for Alex uh, and for me? Yeah. Yes, they can. They can. But they still have more questions before they do that. They still okay, have yeah, questions. maybe we'll finish with the song because that'll be a good way to conclude. Yes. So that again. Okay. Speak louder. Please, are you listening to what you are doing? Okay. Now answer the question. You speak louder. Let everybody hear. Uncle where were you born from? Where am I born? Was that the question? Oh I'm sorry, God. I'm not. I, I think so. Um, I was born in the US in California. Um, but I've never lived there. So, so yeah, I was born in the US in America. Uh, I'm going to be here. Uh, come on. Actually. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Who's the question that I think? Alice? Okay. And come okay. again. Can you, can you speak really loud? We, we couldn't hear the question well. I think you, we should tell them to talk inside the microphone. Okay. I... Yeah, can, can they bring the microphone up in front of their mouth so we can hear better? Like if, if they grab the microphone so that the, um, the microphone part is right in front of their mouth. Wait, can they, um, how do we explain this? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll grab some headphones to demonstrate with a visual. Okay, okay. Wait, we'll need just one second. So, so we're, we're still having a hard time hearing. So to, to demonstrate, can, can you take the microphone from the headphones? And put it in your mouth so it's extra loud when we hear. No, not no, the... no, not 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 this part. But on on the wire, there's a wider part of it, and that's a microphone. Yes. Yeah, 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 there, that's... there, there. We're, 
we're, we're still having a hard time hearing what the question is. Uh, the question is, when Alice grew up, which work does she want to do? Oh, okay, yeah, we can hear you a lot better now. So, uh, Alex, she was asking, when you grow up, what work do you want to do? Oh, um, I'm not sure yet. I think I might want to become a doctor. That's one of a few options that I have, but I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking about it. Do I have what? A special what? Question is for the two of you, my partner and Alice. Oh, for the two of us, okay. Oh. When, when are you going to grow up? Come again, please. This was your date of birth. Oh, date of birth. Uh, so mine is October 13th. What, what's your date of birth? August 15th. August 15th. Oh, that, I was born on August 1st. I was born in August too. Okay, so both born the same month. And I have a sister who was born August 6th in between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we live in Paris? Is that the question? Um, well, because I go to school here and because actually I've always lived in Paris. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and, and for me, it's a less obvious answer because I, I come from Canada originally, but I moved to Paris in 2006 and mm -hmm. I never planned on staying here more than one or two years, but I liked it a lot. So every year I said, okay, I'll stay one more year. I'll stay one uh -huh. more year. And then in 2013, I took a year and I lived in South America and I worked at a couple of farms and I biked across South America and I really missed France. And I said, okay, now I know I'm gonna go back and I want to live in France at least for several more years before I go somewhere else. So that's kind of why I live in Paris. Well, yeah, it's nice here. It, it's I a good place. And why. <laughs> the, the coolest place in the world. Yeah. Thank you. Alice, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Um, I don't really have one favorite dish. But at the moment, this is kind of weird, but I really like apples with peanut butter. It's not a dish, but I really like that. Yes, yes. We are about to sing for you, the Madrigal and his students. After oh, beautiful. Thank you. 